Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, that walk uh, to go down into Egypt, and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, and trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. For his princes were at Zoan, and his ambassadors came to Hanes. They were all ashamed of a people that could not profit them, nor be a help, nor profit, but a shame and also a reproach. The burden of, of the beast of the south into the land of trouble and anguish, from whence come the young and old lion, the viper and the fiery flying serpent. They will carry their riches upon the shoulders of young asses and their treasures upon the bunches of camels to a people that shall not profit them. For the Egyptians shall help in vain and to no purpose. Therefore have I cried concerning this, their strength is to sit still. Now go, write before them in a table, and note it in a book, that it may be time, that it may be for the time to come forever and ever, that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, which may, uh, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, Prophesy not unto us right things. Speak uh, unto us smooth things. Prophesy deceits. Get out of the way. Turn aside out of the path. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because you despise this word and trust in oppression and perversiveness and stay thereon, Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out on a high wall, whose breaking cometh suddenly in an instant, and he shall break it as the breaking of the potter's vessel, that it is broken in pieces, he shall not spare, and there shall not be found in the bursting of it a sherd uh, to take fire from the hearth, or to take water withal out of the pit. For thus saith the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, in return, in returning and rest shall you be saved, in quietness and confidence shall your strength, and you would not. But you said no, for we will flee upon horses, therefore shall ye flee, and we will ride upon the swift, therefore shall they that pursue you be swift. One thousand shall flee at the rebuke of one, at the rebuke of five shall you flee, till you be left as a beacon upon the top of the mountain, and as an ensign on a hill. And therefore will the Lord wait, that he may be gracious unto you, and therefore that he be exalted, and that he will have mercy upon you. For the Lord is a God of judgment, Blessed are all they that wait for him. For the people shall dwell in Zion at Jerusalem. Thou shalt weep no more. It will be very gracious unto uh, thee at the voice of thy cry. When he shall hear it, he will answer thee. And though the Lord gave you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, you shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner any more, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers and thine ears will hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk you in it. When you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left, you, sh you shall defile also the covering of thy graven images of silver and the ornament of thy molten images of gold. Thou shalt cast them away as a menstruous cloth, and thou shalt say unto it, Get thee hence. Then shall he give the rain of thy seed, that thou that sow to the ground withal, and bread of the increase of the earth, it shall be fat and plenteous. In that day shall thy cattle feed in large pastures. 
The oxen likewise and the young asses that ear to the ground shall eat clean provender with which had been winnowed with the shovel and with the fan. And there shall be upon every high mountain and every high hill rivers and streams of waters in the day of the great slaughter when the towers fall. Moreover, the light of the moon shall be as the light of the sun and the light of the sun shall be sevenfold as the light of seven days, and in the day the Lord bindeth up in breach of his people, and healeth the stroke of their wound. Psalm here. The Lord, the Lord at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. He shall judge among the heathen, he shall fill the high places with dead bodies, he shall wound the heads over many countries, he shall drink of the brook in the way, therefore shall he lift up his head. The Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion and rule thou in the midst of thine enemies. And this applies, I believe, to uh, Trump. He will rule in the midst of, of our enemies, of his enemies and our enemies. Okay, and that, that's just a direct application there. Because... Um, he really is like the one the Lord has raised up. And no matter how they run at him, have you heard the latest thing? These false prophets, the golden calf, and of course, evil rituals involving human trafficking. And what's lurking out there is obviously, you know, the, the war with Russia is moving ever closer every day. And this is not so much against Trump. This is against the people because of how many bodies would be piled up. And so, you know, that's, that's the end of the... Um, oh, do I have to read 115 too? Okay. Um, let me just get there. And one more. Okay, let's see. Okay, it just kind of pounds in the same words, Psalm 115. Uh Wherefore should the heathen say, Where is now their God? But our God is in the heavens, and he hath done whatsoever he hath pleased. Their idols are of silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Noses have they, but they smell not. They have hands, but they handle not. Uh, feet they have but they walk not, neither speak they through their throat. They that make them are like unto them, so that every one of them trusteth in them. Ye that fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. The Lord hath been mindful of us. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless them that fear the Lord, both small and great. The Lord shall increase you more and more, you and your children. You are blessed of the Lord, which made heaven and earth. The heaven, even the heavens, are the Lord's, but the earth hath he given to the children of men. The dead praise not the Lord, neither they that go down into silence. But we will bless the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. Praise the Lord. Once again, the idols and the idol worshipers go down to the pit. They're not blessed. They do not prosper. The Lord's children will prosper even on the earth, even during the time of deceit and lies and lawlessness, which we have now, even in the time of absolute idolatry and even insanity and psychosis globally. Even in this time of complete and sheer stupidity, as the people become like their idols, dumb, dumb, distracted, meandering uselessly, the children of the Lord who seek the Lord for guidance, who seek the Lord for strength, those who serve the Lord will prosper in their way, whether they be a president, a pauper, and everything in between. The Lord's people will be blessed in this time. 
Hard as that is to see. The evildoers will be punished. And, you know, I, I mean, I could, I could pull an Obama and say, full stop, guaranteed. What's that about that? You don't understand. But I won't, I won't put a timing on it, but I will just tell you this. You're starting to see the, the invincible and the above the law and the untouchables slowly chinks in their army. L- little more, little more, little more. Drip, 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 drip. It just doesn't go away. At some point, the people may demand justice. At this point, we have lawlessness. Senator Mark Warner, defended by um, Rubio, of all people. Don't touch him, even though he was guilty of framing Trump and trying to deny a duly elected uh, president and take the people's choice away from the people. So this doesn't go away. We are at war. No, I'm sorry, the false prophets told you that everything good is right around the corner. Our worries are over. We're going to have a good place for you and your children to grow up. You'll have that, those of you who serve the Lord. Or you'll be with him. <laughs> More of the case of you old, you, old, you old geezers. You'll be with him soon enough. You don't need that blessing. <laughs> You don't have to hang out here that much longer. Uh, but uh, hopefully the people around you will be blessed so they don't, you know, try to push you off the cliff, right? Uh, anyway, um, here's the thing. This this was came to me at, you know, I don't even know what hour, but I mean, it, I, I, I grabbed, I you know, I, I need to probably have a notebook there. I think I covered it today, what I was given last night to give out to you. I say it's it's the it's the continuation of the word we received before, which is God's people are blessed in the midst of this horror that's going on. The pe- people of the horror who tried to do evil deeds against someone that the Lord had brought have have been exposed by the Lord and been judged and punished, and there will be indictments at some point. At some point, you know, it keep it keeps on going. It's just that also you were sent jackals and false prophets to tell you this was happening months ago when it was not. Getting you distracted and keeping, you know, could, turning you into idolaters. Waiting for false people to say false things rather than inquiring of the Lord. Now that's on you. You know, those of you who are, you know, in that category, I don't care. I'm not going to judge you, but why don't you repent, get on the good side of the Lord while the getting is good? Because you're hearing it from here. This is an actual prophetic voice, unlike, and no, it's not as exciting as the lies, right? <laughs> but this came from on, on high, you know, at the middle of the night. And I'm going back to Brother Thomas. Uh, I still call him Bro T, even though he's he's off being David Bowie now, which... I'm, I'm, you know, hey, to each his own, you know what I mean? It's like, uh, hey, it's your life, you know, if I, I you do your own thing. No, he's also doing his own thing. I mean, I, but he's off doing, doing that, that whole, you know, being an entertainer, basically. Uh, his blog, he, he has a gift, not just with me, he's a hell of a singer, but I mean, not just as a singer and songwriter, he has a gift and had a gift. I haven't checked up on him lately, so I don't know. I've kind of gone through a spiritual disconnect there for whatever reason. But he's had a gift uh, about this whole situation that we're in right now. And uh, he, even now, I could say he's the most accurate. See, you know, it, ask the Lord for more gifts. Ask the Lord for more understanding. So the child of God, what should the child of God be doing right now? Being a prayer of, you know, being eyes looking forward, being discerning, being praying, seeking the Lord for answers, uh, spreading the gospel when possible, teaching the children, you know, just going about your, what you do, what you've been doing is what you should be doing. Um, 
And the one thing that people have failed to do that they need to do a better job of is witnessing. If you're witnessing a takeover uh, politically, that's going to eventually mean, you know, certain changes that would be an anathema to God. Then it would be up to you to say, hey, I'm noticing and witnessing this takeover, Lord. I'm a witness and I'm reporting what I see. Not what I want to see. Q appeals to what you want to hear. What you want to see. And you keep hanging on, hoping it's true. Rather than what we do see, what is there, what is happening. And the Q people become blind to the actual truth, the actual reality of what's happening, while calling everyone ignorant but them. That everyone's ignorant, but them who are on the inside really know what's going on, you know, and deciphering all this. And, of course, it's man worship. It's inaccurate. And it leads to complacency and to dropping of the guard. And it leads to being conquered. And it's the perfect ploy by the perfect enemy. Now, here's the thing I had to try to understand. If we're being conquered, if, there's, if they're going to succeed with this new world, or at least in some form before the end of things, uh, then we have to adopt, uh, We very quickly, we must pivot into total focus on the Lord, total focus on salvation, total focus on prayer, total focus on uh, the, the you know, doubling down on all the things of God, the Bibles, the, the, the teachings, the uh, everything. That's the only place of refuge, not the state. The state's not yet, not really a place of refuge. I think a lot of these MAGA people are thinking the United States is the refuge. You know, is the, the, they're worshiping the United States, not really worshiping God. It, you know, so God's taking away that security and he's taking away that unity we had. He, he God, is taking that away to make us more dependent on him, amen? All right? To make us more dependent on him rather than just sis, boom, ba, rah, rah. More dependent on God, less sis, boom, ba. What I see is uh, what God is doing is he's empowering his people in, in, in doing them with great gifts of the spirit. These people will quickly become the seers, the visionaries, the ones that the world would have to rely on to find out where things are going. What will be the outcome? But it looks to me like the Lord is empowering his remnant, empowering us with great you know, visions and, and prophetic words and interpretations and becoming the seers of the world. The, the Lord's people will become, you know, not they're not today, but over the next few months and years, they'll become the seers, the visionaries of the world, uh, the, the prophetic voice of the world. The, uh, you'd have to go to one of these people to find out what's happening. Their, their psychics and sorcerers just can't quite pull it off. So that's in the works now. So I see God's people being lifted up while the other people are being exposed and even a hand of judgment on some of it 